The future of pain relief may come from somewhere you least expect it, in the form of a virtual reality video game. Researchers say all you've got to do is distract your brain. Dr. Max Gomez here to explain exactly what that might mean, doctor. Yeah, exactly. Have you guys ever tried vi uh, virtual reality? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, well, you know, if you've ever tried it, you know that virtual reality can transport your mind to incredible digital worlds. Maybe you notice that while you were in those fantasy worlds, you weren't thinking about your knee pain or backache. It's that same effect that's becoming pain therapy. Kevin Walsh finds relief from his pain by immersing his mind in a 360-degree world of snow and ice. His back was severely burned in a small explosion at work. There was one time when I did during wound care when they have to peel off my bandages while I'm there. And um, they peeled off a couple bandages and I didn't even really notice. Kevin is one of a number of patients at Harborview Medical Center in Seattle using virtual reality to help manage their pain. It's a means to pull people's attention away from very painful procedures. But virtual reality does more than distract the brain. Pain is a complex interaction between pain signals and the way the brain processes and interprets them. By occupying parts of the brain with other tasks, virtual reality may prevent some nerve signals from being interpreted as pain. The areas of the brain that light up with pain light up less and they're just not processing as much. Dr. Patterson uses a game called Snow World. Using VR goggles, patients hit targets with snowballs, taking their mind off their procedures. Overall, we're seeing, you know, 35% reductions in pain is pretty typical, where you see somebody's pain drop from severe to moderate. That pain reduction translates into less pain medication, especially opioids, which means lower risk of addiction and possibly preventing some overdoses. For patients like Kevin, any relief from the pain can help on the road to recovery. But some people take the view that they can handle pain, and so they refuse pain medication. But pain releases stress chemicals that actually interfere with healing. That's why painkillers are actually medically necessary. But virtual reality does that without drugs. And while this particular uh, setup was really done in the hospital, so that's covered by hospital insurance and so forth, you can do it at home. You know, any virtual reality video game, anything that transports you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do virtual reality and be on a beach somewhere, that kind of thing. <laughs> Makes you wonder, though, could you watch a regular movie, watch comedy yeah. routine? I don't know, other stuff. You need just something to that's really immersive, though. I mean, something that really takes you into that other world and kind of really distracts you. Also, in this case, you're actually playing a game, so you're using other parts of your brain as well. All of that is part of taking hmm. you away from the pain signals. Interesting. It yeah. is interesting. All without drugs, too, so that's exactly. a big plus. Dr. Max, thank you.